What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we have a few interesting details to actually talk about today. Some of it I completely forgot even existed and that is about the cancelled Avengers game. Now this is going way back into 2012. It was posted on Reddit the other day as you guys can see and there is like a three or so minute video again that you guys see in the background. I'll link the full thing so you can check it out and see it with the audio etc etc but the video is actually really really cool now we're going to talk a bit more about this Avengers game that was cancelled in a second but before I get into that I did post this on my community tab again something we saw um, on reddit by it's a bit and that was holy crap how tall is the Avengers Tower now a lot of people are saying that this of course isn't as tall as the one of course in spider-man ps4 etc etc but I want you guys to leave your thoughts on this and how big you think this Avengers Tower is if it's bigger than the one in spider-man ps4 etc etc leave your genuine thoughts about that but if this game is gonna have photo mode which I'm assuming it will be I think getting shots from a long like distance similar to this one here is gonna make you know some very very fun experiences but again you guys get in the comment section below because according to Roman that is an Avengers level threat now Going on to the main topic, and we do have some very cool facts to point out uh, as well about the new Avengers game. It was posted by IGN where they've kind of done a roundup on about 53 new Marvel Avengers facts, but about like almost all of them are repetitive ones. But the ones that I will discuss are ones that are interesting that you may have actually missed as well, because uh, I definitely missed a few of them. But this cancelled Avengers game, which you guys see in the background, is absolutely insane. Now, this specific video was uploaded in 2012, and I think bringing a game like this back to the limelight just to kind of give you a know, credit to the devs that were working on the game at the time is a cool thing to do and overall if you never knew this game existed or this is the first time you're hearing about it if you're anything like me you will think this looks absolutely insane so you can be Iron Man basically all the Avengers guys they all have you know essentially their own sort of superpowers as you would expect the one you see is Iron Man first person literally fl flying around using destructibles and all that kind of stuff you're getting loads of XP as well etc etc but this is really really cool now I don't know a whole lot more about this cancelled Avengers game being completely honest now of course a lot of people will actually talk about the graphics of the game again how far this was in development when this video was exactly released I'm not 100% sure. That being said though, if this game was only a first person game, I think this could have still done very, very well. It does also when you go into like special moves, like you see with the Hulk at some stage in the video where he grabs a guy in first person, throws them, but then he does another move and it kind of goes into a third person shot, just really, you know, amping up the experience as a whole. I thought that was really, really cool. And apparently all of like the characters in the game had their enhanced finishes and so forth but it just got me you know thinking when you look at the ragdoll effects as well especially for a game at its time I don't think was bad at all but can you imagine if something like this was implemented now in the new Avengers game and every time I mention this stuff I know a lot of people just say I'm you know kind of going way off the scales here but can you imagine if they just straight up go ahead and added first person mode into the game because just seeing this really does show how much fun it would actually be in first person mode now with all the characters in first person mode I think it'd be super fun with only Hulk and of course Iron Man simply because Hulk you're just massive and Iron Man obviously you can fly around and it just makes things a little bit harder and you know I guess more skill is needed to some extent but overall it's a more you know fun gameplay experience but I thought this was really really cool again you guys can go ahead and check out the full video the link is in the description below like I said, it was uploaded in 2012, so definitely do not be one of those guys uh, to go ahead and comment on the graphics. But Mega Shady 2000, <laughs> which is like the greatest name ever, um, with a video like this, is is the channel that uploaded it. So go ahead, check it out. The link is in the description below. Would you want something like this to be recreated with better graphics, or just would you like a first-person mode implemented? on certain uh, characters in this new Avengers game over time because don't forget and I always mention this they have promised that this game is going to be a game we're going to be playing for years on end so 
Hey, when you say that, it just means it's going to be a game you're consistently updating forever, more or less. So, imagine it like a game being updated like GTA all the time. There's not probably going to be another one off it. It's just going to be the one base game. But, going over to the next topic of the video, it was actually, uh, well, actually I want to point out something by uh, Scythe Studios that had a really, really cool idea. Now, you guys know I always point out these community ideas, so... As always, if you always have one that you think is cool, drop it in the comment section below. If you see one of an idea that you think is cool, go ahead and thumbs up the comment. Now this one by Scythe Studios actually said, Wouldn't it be cool if by beating a boss villain, whether it be the main story or a side quest, you can then switch to that villain and fight heroes? Basically a cool way to switch teams, that way you can fight your friends. Now, I really, really did like the idea of this, and it seems like a lot of you guys did as well. And it's something different, and it could be something that could be in a side quest. And the only idea in terms of a side quest that I have seen to date, and I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed, you know, the sound of, was the whole idea of the Hulk mode. And I think in a situation like this, uh, you know, if you're a Hulk or you're fighting a villain and then you can kind of go head to head with each other, I think that would absolutely be insane. Like Abomination, you can be him and you go in head to head with the Hulk because you beat him as a Hulk. So, or again, you know, vice versa if you're going into co-op mode, etc. I think that would be a ton of fun. Now, the IGN website. So this is where they revealed 53 new Marvel Avengers facts and basically all the details we gathered over at Gamescom. A lot of them were more or less repetitive ones that we already know, but it's kind of cool to see them all rounded up in, you know, I guess subcategories. But the ones that I'm going to be talking about have kind of been filtered down to the ones that I missed. Um, and the ones that I think are interesting and basically, you know, you can just add more ideas onto it. So, the first one is that depending on the gear that you have equipped, you may be able to access otherwise inaccessible areas. Now, this is something that has seemed, I, I mean, I can sound crazy for saying it, but it seems to have just completely gone over my head in terms of that. I, I don't remember where that was said, but literally it, it can kind of go into different things. So, depending on the gear you have equipped, you may be able to access otherwise inaccessible areas. So what these areas are, I have no idea. And actually thinking about it now, when I've just said that, the idea sparked in my head. When we of course see um, in the first trailer, I think it was, when we see that little snippet with Iron Man going into space with the space sh uh, suit, with the shuttle, etc. I think this is what it may mean. So if it's saying depending on the gear you have equipped and you can't go to certain areas, for example, if you had the new, uh, well, the original Iron Man outfit on, or you're someone like, uh, I don't know, Thor or Captain America or whoever it may be, and you don't have a spacesuit, which essentially would kind of be like a gear that you would unlock, I'm assuming, then there could be space as like a little miniature map, but you can't go to unless you have more than three characters maybe equipped with, with a spacesuit or something, whatever it may be. And it makes sense because we saw the Avengers trailer showcase, like I said a second ago, with Iron Man on the space shuttle in space with the space Iron Man suit. So it does make sense. If you don't have that suit, you can't go into space. If you have that suit, you can go into space. And then I guess the other inaccessible areas, what they could be, I have absolutely no idea. But hopefully that kind of jogs your memory a bit and kind of gets your ideas going because when I just said that, that's where it made sense. So that's an interesting fact to know. Now the next... Now the next one is that each hero features a light and heavy melee attack that can be used in combat. Again, we have seen this. Um, now in terms of unlocking skills, now this is, you know, a big thing and there's been, like I've mentioned in the last couple of videos, a big complaint on the XP. It's like 10 XP after you literally knock out a bunch of bad guys. No one is really happy with that stuff. But unlocked skills can actually be swapped to mid-game by just simply toggling them on the D-pad, which is really interesting. And the last one, which I thought was really cool, is that there is also a secret, and I quote, beyond a legendary tier of items that can be obtained. Now, of course, it's pretty self-explanatory as to when you will be able to access this stuff and how you can go about getting it. So basically, I don't know, maybe different levels in the game, difficulties, etc. But 
or just simply I guess upgrading your characters again what these tiers are they haven't specifically showcased them so you can only get yourself a kind of rough idea on how that is working um, but we know that higher in general you know rarity gears can feature basically multiple perks as a whole so I'm guessing it's just a thing the more you progress in the game the more perks you're gonna get we know that most of the stuff ain't gonna be microtransactions anyway so I guess it's just a matter of grinding the game out until you can actually get to this and it's gonna be something that everyone talks about like hey I've got you know the legendary well beyond legendary tier of items and the items could be featuring something really really cool I don't think they're gonna showcase that though before the game's released I think it's gonna be something that you just have to basically discover when you get there in the game and I think that's more or less as far as that one goes but guys that's gonna wrap up this video here leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one as always subscribe for more awesome content if you haven't already and until the next one adios amigos